All right, welcome back to the second tutorial in the series of Pure Pursuit. And on this, in this tutorial, we're gonna be starting to develop a little bit more on the move function. It shouldn't be too long. Um, we, there's a couple of things we still need to do before we can start using this in the pur Pure Pursuit algorithm. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing I forgot from before is that we need to multiply this times the movement speed because right now it'll always go at 100% power when our algorithm may not want it to always go at 100% power. All right, the next thing we want to do is we're going to we're going to have a problem and I'll show you. Oh yeah, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our preferred angle that I was talking about before where we have um, this turning action happening to our to our best drivetrain direction. So to do that, what we're going to want to do is we're going to first want to calculate double relative turn angle. And that's relative angle to point minus our, our um, 180 just because of the way the program set up. And then plus a parameter that I'm going to call a double preferred angle. And that's going to be the direction we want our robot to travel in during uh, at least as much as it can during the course of the movement. So then we're gonna add that here, and there we go. So then now we can finally say movement turn equals, well, if we have a relative turn angle, if the turn if the relative angle is positive, then we wanna turn one way. If it's negative, we wanna turn the other way. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make it, we're gonna take relative turn angle divided by about maybe 30 degrees, or convert it to radians, then we're going to clip that to make sure that it's always in the range of 0 to 1 or negative 1 to 1, sorry. And then we're going to multiply that by our turn speed. Did I define a turn speed? That's a different turn speed. Okay, double preferred angle and then finally double turn speed. So yeah, negative 1 to 1 times turn speed. So what that's going to do is if our angle's to the right of the target, meaning it's, uh, in this case, negative, I want to say. I forget. But so say that the relative angle is positive, then it's going to nicely decelerate over the range of 30, uh, 30 degrees um, and stop at our target. So let's try this. We need to put in the arguments. Oh, I already did it because I've practiced this, but yeah. You, you guys have this, so you need to put in, oh, what did I just do? Our preferred angle is about, is 90, because that's what I mentioned before as what I feel good about doing. I don't know, I don't know why I put in 90. It should be zero. Make it better, okay. So we'll run this and we'll see we're gonna have a problem. Oh, well first of all, we have a syntax error. Oh right, I'm doing something. Um, this is a different class, you don't have to worry about that, okay. So where is my, one sec, I forgot to run the debug client. Let's drag that over. Okay, now let's run this. All right, so we're turning towards the target and we're getting this weird orbiting problem. Now this can be a big problem in real life when we have um, the robot going to a point and we're having this issue when we're really close to it and that it, it keeps turning towards it even when it shouldn't be. So we need to modify that. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna say if distance to target is less than about may maybe 10 centimeters, then movement turn equals zero because we don't wanna be turning towards the target when we're really close. All right. So now we don't have that, we still have a bit of it when we really, okay, so we're going really, really fast. So we probably want to turn that down a bit. Let's turn this down to like 0.5 and that should be better. But for the most part, now we have a stable go to point algorithm that'll turn to the right direction. It's it's beautiful, it will, it'll work. And I think that's all we need. So I'm not going to make this tutorial any longer. Um, I think we could be done right here and 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.